the charge blade isn't that hard. A lot of people would say that this weapon is hard to use, and that might be true for some people, but in my opinion, it's not that hard. Or maybe it's just because I've played long enough with this weapon to say that it's easy to use. Either way, I'm going to tell you how to easily use this weapon so that you can use it for yourself. Just like my longsword video, everything that I'm going to show you is just how I play with the weapon. I'm not an entire master at using the charge blade. To be honest, I'm quite reckless when I use this weapon. So you better not be thinking that I'm a pro at using this. I'm just a casual player. The first thought that comes to mind when I use this weapon is gaining file energy. Any sword attack helps with gaining file energy. The gauge will appear in yellow or red when you have gotten energy. I mostly make sure I get it to red so that I can instantly have max file energy. The best way to instantly get max file energy is by holding down the circle button on a PlayStation controller or the B button on an Xbox controller, then let it go at the right time, then press triangle circle or Y and B and then repeat the first step. That's probably the fastest way of maxing out on energy. It's definitely faster than spamming triangle or Y. Although if you want quick damage, then spamming triangle or Y would be better. After achieving max energy, I stored the energy by pressing R2 and circle or RT and B. This is a core move for charge blade users because without it, you'll be bouncing off a monster until the next Monster Hunter game comes out on the next gen console. Or actually forever because that's how the weapon works. Now that I stored that energy into my files, there's only two options left that I can think of. I either charge up my shield or I get more energy. To charge up the shield, you need to perform the super amp elemental discharge and then press R2 or RT to charge the shield. There's multiple ways of doing this. I mostly spam triangle and circle or Y and B to get to the super amped elemental discharge to charge the shield. Another way is just go to X mode, then press triangle and circle or Y and B for an instant super amped elemental discharge. Jesus Christ is so long to say that word. I'm just gonna shorten it to SAED, which a lot of charge blade users would say. The other way is after blocking an attack, if you instantly press triangle and circle or Y and B, you go straight into a SAED. I think that's all the ways of charging up the shield. But in reality, I just spam the triangle and circle buttons or the Y and B buttons to get to the SAED. I tend to forget the other ones, but since I know that there's other options available, I can always do the other moves when I see the opportunity. Okay, but what was the point of the other option to get more energy? Well, there's a good reason why I do that. If you haven't noticed, when you charge up the shield, all the stored files will disappear because they are used for the shield. If I went ahead and got more energy instead, I would still end up charging the shield again, but this time I still have energy that I can store. This is a great way for storing energy into my files after using the previous files to charge my shield. Basically doing it this way lets me have two stocks of max file energy. One for the shield and one for the other stuff that the weapon uses. Oh, by the way, the importance of charging up the shield is so that you can block attacks better and it gives you access to some other stuff which I'll talk about in a bit. Now that my shield is charged up, the next thing I do is charge up the sword. This can easily be done by pressing and holding down the triangle or Y button after you store file energy. Charging up the sword takes time, so make sure you do this when you find an opening or when you're far away from the monster. Or you can be a dumbass like me and do it no matter what and get slapped by the monster. Now that the sword and the shield is charged up, what do I do next? Well, did you like the video and subscribe to the channel? I'll, I'll wait until you do that. Okay, you're done? Okay. So now what we do next is actually find an opening to do an SAED. You know, that flashy move that makes you look cool. Yeah, I tend to just do it no matter what, which gets me in stupid situations. I told you, I'm reckless. I, I don't care. I, I just want to do the move, okay? To do that move, you just need to do the same thing you did for charging up the shield. 
but instead of pressing R2 or RT, just let it go. I'll be honest, I still spam triangle and circle or Y and B to do the SAED. Unless I'm in X mode ready, I'll just press those buttons once because that's how you do it. The SAED uses up file energy. So depending on how many files that you have stocked up on, the bigger the explosions. In my head, it's just max energy equals max SAED damage. Also, the shield has to be charged up. If it's not charged up, then you perform the amp elemental discharge. I don't use this move a lot, but it can be very useful in situations where you can let out a quick attack on the monster. I'll talk about this move a little bit later in this video. You can still perform this move if you have a charged shield. You just need to perform the SAED and hold back the left stick away from where you're facing and press triangle or wire. I either do the SAED or I go into Savage Axe mode. It's very easy to go into this mode. All you have to do is, instead of firing off a SAED, just press L2 or LT to go into Savage Axe mode. This mode is only available in the Iceborne DLC. So no DLC equals no Savage Axe mode. The thing about this mode is that it sucks up stored file energy, meaning no files, no more Savage Axe mode. So if you want to hang on to this mode, you're gonna have to bonk the monster with your sword and store that file energy. Also, when you're in Savage Axe mode, your movement is slowed and you can't block. So be careful. I don't stay in this mode for too long. I only deal the damage and when it runs out, I'll go get it again. I do try to maintain it, but this thing is annoying. So I just let it go. After doing a SAED, you just have to loop the process of gaining and storing energy. This goes the same way for when your shield and sword loses their charge state. Once I got used to this whole process, it was time for me to learn how to guard point. Now I'm not going to explain much here because I already did in this video. If you want to watch it, the link is in the description box below and the top right corner of the screen. All I will say is that the easiest way to guard point is by morphing the sword into axe mode, which is done by pressing R2 and triangle or RT and wire. Do this move in time with a monster's attack and it will save your life when you are mid combo and you need to block an attack. Also to guard point efficiently, you're gonna have to know how a monster moves. Now the AED, the Amped Elemental Discharge, can be useful here because normally after blocking or guard pointing an attack, you can just quickly let out this move and deal quite a bit of damage to the monster. Also, you get to deal fire damage to the monster. So if you have an impact charge blade, then you can knock out the monster. However, this won't work if the monster is still attacking you and you try to do this after blocking the first attack. You're not invincible when you do this move. So doing this attack requires the right moment. Remember to check out armor skills that would improve the charge blades gameplay. I would go for power prolonger, artillery, guard, and offensive guard. Power prolonger to keep the charge blades charged state for a longer time, artillery for more explosion damage, guard to block attacks without stamina being drained too much, and offensive guard for blocking monsters attacks on time. Here's my overall thoughts for the charge blade. Gain and store fire energy by hitting the monster with the sword. Charge the shield up so that I can block better and I can do stuff. Get fire energy again unless you have another stock available. Charge the sword. It's better to get fire energy to easily charge the sword. Find an opening to do the SAED, the big flashy move. Or activate Savage Axe mode but you're gonna have to find openings to attack in that mode. And you have to be aware that it drains any stored files. Once you have gotten used to fighting with this weapon, learn how to guard point. Guard pointing can be used in a lot of situations, but in my opinion, I'd say it can be mostly used when you're attacking in sword mode. Lastly, be sure to keep an eye on your gauge to see what has run out or is running out of energy because you have to repeat the process of gaining and storing file energy. That's all I have on the charge blade. Just remember that this is how I play with the weapon. And I don't play this game for extreme speedruns, I play it very casually. 
if this video gets 45 likes, I'll definitely consider on making another Monster Hunter video. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to continue seeing more of my videos. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys later. Holy, this man's got a turret. <laughs> this man's good. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it now. <laughs> I'm gonna use it on this.